right, what's going on? What's, go what's going on, everybody? Welcome. We are watching UVA tour stop number one for New Jersey and Northwest. Right here in Lodi, New Jersey, Lodi Lanes. This is the voice of choice, Sean Dye Facing. And we are here live Saturday. Right here, Saturday, September of 20, September 23rd, 2023. And we are going to have a treat for you right now, this morning. Murder Inc. against Exit Wounds. For those of you who have watched many tour stops or been a part of tour stops, you know how it goes. But for those who don't know, you are going to watch nine on nine action consisting of one scratch pair and two handicap pairs. And for the scratch pair for exit wounds, you will be seeing JR, Brandon Burwell, Al Gaines. For the scratch pair representing Murder Inc., you will see Dejon Mush Smith. Alex Vargas and Double A himself, the enforcer, Anthony Arias. Handicap pair, lanes three and four. Representing exit wounds will be Andrew, Keyshawn, and Daquan Dede Green. Handicap one for for Murder Inc. will be will be Andy, Najee, and Mr. Carpet Man himself. Getting some action. Idris Edmonds, otherwise known as Dries. Bad to Dries. Drizzy. Drizzy season. Murder season. All the above. And it's all love. Until it ain't. Over here on lane three and four, if you're watching this right now, you've seen Chico Bean himself. Idris Edmonds. Drizzy. Drizzy Dries starting. And Drizzy Dries starting like a beast blowing 10 back off the rack, starting out the way anyone wants to start out. We all know it's not about the start, it's all about how you finish. And let's just see if Key Glock has loaded up the clock, and right now that is not what he likes. Uh, six to start, six count. Oh, but Al Gaines is gaining himself 10 pins to start. Strike to start on lane two on the scratch pin for Mr. Gaines. And let's see the enforcer. Double A, double A saying, hey, I'm an enforcer for a reason. It's A plus, A1, and A1 sauce indeed, and he got the sauce. Are we starting already? Is murder season already, Mush? <laughs> Let's see if we can get a spare conversion. Do not. But speaking of conversion, we're going to see if Burwell can start. And he's trying to, oh wait, sorry, not Burwell. That right there is JR. Sorry, I got my lefties mixed up. Not all lefties look alike. Sorry about that. Up on lane one. Let's see if the gas, let's see if the gas is in. The gas is on and pedal to the metal stepping on the gas, Vargas. Vargas starting off with a strike and Murder Inc. starting off by murdering 10 pins off the rack. And now let's see if the man with the coldest hand, Burr. Burwell right there starting off. And the wounds right now, yep, they're certainly showing you what exit wounds is all about. We're glad for you to be joining us here on Saturday morning. It may be raining outside, but right now the sun is shining and it's shining on, on the bowling world and we are privilege to bring this action to you on Saturday. If you're hearing a lot of noise in the background, do not be alarmed. This is what it's all about, pioneering all of this. Making noise, packing a bag full of bowling toys, and we are all here. But you know who's not here? Nige. Nige starting off not the way he would like to. 8-10. But let's see if Mush, oh wait, Mush getting a 7, but that 7 not exactly a lucky one. So he is the first one the first one to blink on lane one and two. And what we call a beer frame. I guess he's buying drinks for everybody. Nige does the right thing. He gets he gets the wood and he's not trying to play hero ball. And oh, speaking of hero ball, his ball was certainly not a hero. But it wasn't a zero, but he only clipped one off of that 3 6 10. Pan 
painting over and going over right here, lane three and four. We have Keyshawn Stevens, Key Glock. And let's see if he's going to do his Glock dance on his second frame. His first frame shot him. He's trying to see if he can shoot back. Key Glock loads up, fires up, and his ball is not necessarily turning up. And Mush lets him know. Let Mush, Mush lets him know that he got to throw it better. And I think, I think the man with the Glock himself is going to throw it better. We're going, we're going to see if Drees can let him know what season it is. But this spare can be converted. Let's see if it is converted. Now, even though it didn't make the spare, he got a much better reaction on that. Which look That shit don't work over here, nigga. That shit don't work over here, nigga. I told you that. I was waiting for you. As a matter of fact, Lazar just, Andrew says, I got your back, Key. I got, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Andrew, Andrew. Andrew said he got his back. Oh, and there goes 10 back right there from Murder, Inc. Oh, my goodness. Murder, Inc. looking like they got something to say about them being taken out of the playoffs at this past battle ball. They trying to go from start to finish. And let's see if Mr. Daquan Day, Day Green. Day Day trying to get a payday right there. And that's a double. And he's trying to cause some trouble. Trump doing everything. Right now they got... Two strikes apiece for the second and third bowler for exit, trying to maybe build a foundation for Keyshawn to stand on. And let's see if Nige right now is walking tall, and he's walking tall, and he gets them all right there. Forget about that 8-10. Right now, he just got 10 and 10 in the end. Right there, Mush. Mush making a slight adjustment. I guess the first shot was practice. But hey, we talking about practice? No, we ain't talking about that. from clean to dirty. Hopefully he's not going to be filthy. And let's see if Andrew can do him filthy. And doing what he does here, not only in this house, but any other house he'll step into. Andrew right there looking at a 300 pace. And let's see if Day Day right now can also keep his Glock loaded because Key Glock is starting off third frame just right. Andrew is keeping, keeping the flow going and he understands the assignment. Up on lane three. Ooh, Murder Inc. Andy with the two hands. Andy with the two hands. AKA what? Late night. Late night on the early morning. And let's just see if it's, ooh, no daylight there for Day Day. So he starts with two. Hopefully he's not through. Got a little early read on that one. Let's see if Najee himself, he got Fat Boy on his jersey. Let's see if his ball does the job. And he goes up the lanes. And no, UBA OG just showed up. Pat Hollis. Pat Hollis on lane three. For those who don't know what that is, that is a 2 8 10 split. Dede, backup ball release from the left side. 
makes the job easier, working smarter, not necessarily harder. Speaking of working hard, we're working hard to give you some good caffeine on this morning because you can't, you can't have a good day unless you start with some caffeine in your system. For all those watching live on Caffeine TV, we thank you for inviting us into your homes, onto your screens, whether you're watching us on television, computer, or on your phones, whether it be Android, whether it be iPhone, don't matter what it is. And now over on lane five and six, Nick Stalwick also, oh, two appearances by Pat Hollis. Does not convert his 2-8-10 spare, but that is okay. Sometimes it don't matter if your house is a little dirty, just sweep it under the rug a couple frames later. Oh, six, we got a six count. Oh, we got a Richard Nixon. We got, we got two on each side. We got the four, seven on one side, and the six and 10 on the other. That's got to hurry. And man, I feel like I'm at an ice cream parlor, man. All these splits, all these banana splits. So we got a 2-10 on lane five. <laughs> we got 4 7 six, ten. Like I said, no hero ball, just gets the wood. He goes for the two. I'm sure he was hoping for three or more. But that is all good. Let's see if we get some spares conversions. We already saw strikes. Let's see if we can see some superb split shooting. And nope, they're being smart. They're focusing on the wood. Wood is always good. And let's see if things are all good over here, back on lanes three and four. And wow, Andy with the two hands, AKA late night, doing his thing. And let's see if Andy over here, Andrew with the left hand versus Andy with the two hand. It's amazing. How much? Wonderful. Oh my goodness. This is, a, this is an amazing start to the season. These two powerhouses in the New Jersey Northwest Division. They are ready to do their thing and do it on the screen. Let's see. Nige. Nige, ooh, goes a little high. Ooh, a little, little high strand, high grade, but he still takes everything out. Day Day, Day pushing it up the lanes and pushing 10 back on lane three. Dree says he's feeling good. Dree says he's feeling really good. And, and, he, and he's, I believe we got a little side wager where he's, where he's, well, he's planning on buying some beverages with the money that he, that, well, that he hopes to win. Let's just see. Let's just see if his ball's still talking like he is. It wasn't talking on his 10 pin, but it's talking on his first shot. He hasn't missed the pocket yet. Y'all motherfuckers ain't got it like that. We're giving everybody the door And he is ready to start it. He said anybody can get it. It is indeed murder, murder season. He said anybody? Anybody. And we got Andrew up. Andrew with the left hand. Andrew with the left hand versus Andy with the two hand. Andrew on a 278 pace. He only had a slight hiccup, but he didn't throw up. He got he got his frames clean. All his frames are clean. On lane three, we got Andy with the two hands. Late night. Oh, late night. Couldn't say night night on the first shot, but you know what? Nine plus one still equals ten. Let's see if he could do one thing that Dries did not do and convert his 10 pin. And Day Day right now saying, I'm, I'm right here with you, Andy, with the left hands. Andrew and Day Day right now, they said, listen, we got your back, Keyshawn. And Keyshawn said, heard you loud and clear. Key Glock is here. Let's see if Andy, late night, with the two hands, that looks like it's going to be just fine. And it takes it out. 
And you know what? He's still staying smooth. Lane three and four seems to be doing what they do. Let's take a little look over here. Lane number one and two. Let's talk about what's going on here. Mush, slight hiccup. He's on lane one. He had a slight hiccup the first ball. But Mush doing what he does right there, walking it out. Let him know. And Mush want to know why so serious whenever I throw something good. Najee saying that I can tickle the pocket just a little bit. I ain't got to kill it. I just got to do a little something just to make something happen. And let's see if on lane number two, double A, the enforcer, Anthony Arias, his ball obviously not reading. His ball looked like it was laboring, getting up the lanes. And he leaves a two, four, five. There we go. And Al Gaines on lane one, blowing the rack back. We're going to see a plethora of things here. We're going to see X's. We're going to see slashes. And we've already seen some dashes. And let's, oh, wait a minute. Key Glock is up. Oh, and Key Glock, he threw it up, but the ball checked up. He's got to get that, he's got to get that speed and that rhythm in check. Chico Bean, not wilding out the way he wants to, but he says, Forget any other man. I just want to beat this man because I know I can beat this man. That's what he's saying. But Key is saying, listen, in order to get through the door, you need the key, and I am that. Taking this time on a spare. Have a three, six, nine, ten. And he and he leaves something there. He leaves a little leftovers. He, hopefully he finishes his food next shot. Andy, late night. Uh-oh, the hat came off. Uh-oh, the hat came off. It must have came off for a reason. Must have been holding him back on that last frame. Because that time he blew 10 back. 279 pace for Andy with the two hands. Andy, late night. Looking over on lane five and six. Yeah, like I said, Nick Starwick, Campanelli, and Elijah Brown. For exit. Ooh, don't fall back. We got <laughs> we got Curtis Bell up on lane six. Let's see if Curtis Bell can rock the bells on this. Has three spares, one strike. The house is still clean. Ooh, he tripped it all out. And Curtis Bell, silent but deadly. Letting you know Exit is in the building. Like I mentioned, these two teams, powerhouses in their divisions. New Jersey Northwest Division, one of the, like I said, one of the toughest divisions in the entire UBA. Exit has been to the finals of UBA, Murder, Inc., has won the finals of UBA. They're looking to start their season off right in this clash. Speaking of clash, if you are interested in being a part of the UBA clash, get five of your best, tell another crew to get five of their best, and we can get it on on the lanes. And speaking of get it on, speaking of get it on, Hansel gets it up. He gets it up the left, and he blows it all back. Hansel representing with a strike for exit. And now we have Elijah Brown up on lane six representing Murder Inc. El Papi himself. Elijah looking both ways before, before he crosses the lanes. <laughs> Steps up, sets up. Gets that ball out. It's got to get. It's got to get there, and it does not get there. And man, so we've had appearances from UBA OGs. We've already seen P Pat Hollis a couple times, and now we have Josh Malik. Shout out Josh Malik. What up, pioneer of the 810? Many ways to leave that spear. <laughs> Barely any ways to make it.
Yeah, what up, South Ab? What up? Brooklyn here. <laughs> For those in the back, those who hear that in the background, another UBA OG yourself. Drees is Deboe, verbally and on the lanes right now. Normally part of the carpet crew, but right now, they, like I said, they took the chains off him and he's on the lanes. Great shot. Double A tripping something out, and let's see if Andrew, Andrew with the left hand still keeping it going. And ha <laughs> had a slight hiccup, had a slight hiccup in lane six, but that's all right. But it looks like I don't think Andy with the two hands late night is going to try to let up on him at all. No mercy over here. Oh, wait a minute. Or, or maybe he being a little merciless. I guess even though Gordon Pepper isn't here, I guess I'm the dark cloud. I talk about something and the opposite happens. So... So we got so we have a 210 up on lane three, and we almost saw some philanthropy in, in the midst of everything because Dede almost left the split as well to say you are not alone in his Michael Jackson voice. And over on one and two, let's see what's going on over there. We got Burwell on lane one. <laughs> All's well, ends well, and looks like Burwell is throwing well on a 279 pace. How's the left? He's going to let you know right now how the left is. My goodness, I better stop mentioning how good people are doing. Gordon, guess what? Your position's been filled. I am the new dark cloud. I was already born dark, so now I guess I'm just a cloud. <laughs> and Mush says, thank you. Thank you for slowing down. Now let me catch up. Mush says, don't be no track star. Don't run too far. I'm going to catch up to you real quick. Najee up on lane number three. All right. Two opens doesn't matter because he's trying to make sure he erases any mistakes he made and try to snuff it out. Let's see if Chico Bean. Say if you can't handle the fire, get out of the kitchen. And right now they frying it up. You are hearing two of the most, if not one of the most, I'm gonna say the most dangerous teams in the New Jersey Northwest. Oh, and all of UBA and Pat Hollis. Yo, Pat, next time you need to come to Lodi, come somewhere. Because you get a lot of shout outs. These people are paying homage to you. 2-8-10. Andy with the late night might have a back-to-back -back hiccups and it may be indigestion from the way it's looking. Over on lane five and six, let's see what's happening over on lane five and six. We have Nick Stawick up on lane five. Nick only had one hiccup, started out with a double. Left the 2 8 10. Spared. It's on a double again, looking to get back on track. Like I said, even when you make a mistake, you've got to have what we like to call short term memory. Forget what you did and finish strong anyway. His ball hit exactly his, he hit his desired target. Didn't get his desired amount on the first shot. Let's see if Curtis Bell can get what he desires. And he desires 10 back, but he doesn't get that. He leaves the 6 10. Five and six are handicapped pairs, too. Lane three and four, for those who don't know, are handicapped pairs, number one. And putting baby in the corner, lane one and two are the two scratch pairs. 
Let's see if Curtis Bell can convert a spare. Nick converts his spare, no problem. 10 pin, no problem for him. Curtis Bell up, focusing on taking out his spare on the right, 6-10. And does not chop anything. That's right. Everyone trying not to make any kind of unholy mistakes. And speaking of unholy, if you're looking at these teams and trying to maybe uh, pick a horse to bowl with, and they're not on your team, it's all good. Unholy is all about that, getting three individuals together. Mixed teams. Get a female. Get, get a male. It could be two and one, one and two, however you want it to be. And we will be bowler unholy. AMF East Meadow. We talk about how we've pioneered things. New York, not only the birth of hip hop, but the birth of the UDF. And that event will be taking place November 18th, November 18th, 2023, AMF East Meadow and Long Island. Tabs will be opening around October 16th. Be sure to check the UBA, UBA website and get your teams together. Speaking of getting it together, it seems like both Murder Inc. and Exit need to get it together. Everybody's in the given season. Let's see who wants to take something. And speaking of taking something, someone who has a championship under her belt, how you doing a little bit? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. And you know what, you know, you can't have a lot of fun unless you have a little bit. So how you, it's, glad to, it's glad to see you over here overseeing things, you know, watching over the field, kind of playing field analysts. So what do you see for Murder, Inc.'s future this season? Like you, like she said, see all that battle bowl, and you cannot doubt that. You, you cannot bet against a winner, and if you don't know, now you know. Murder Inc. and Exit Wound known to be winners. And let's see if Darian LeMay is a winner on his shot on his ten pin right there, lane five. Ooh, skin in the cat, living life on the edge there, doesn't fall off. Knocks the 10 pin off just in time. Very tight race between all pairs. All pairs in a situation where if they blink, it could be over. And in the blink of an eye, and even though we're in Jersey, in a New York minute, anything can change within one frame. Elijah Brown throwing 10 back off the rack on lane six. Uh, but, and Curtis Bell, oh, rocking the bells, but you know what? The bell ain't ringing yet. Right now we're doing what we call controlling the pocket. You want to... You want to throw shots that make sense, so that way you can eventually make dollars. You're hitting the pocket, leaving your one pin spares, convert your spares. Every spare means everything. Nick Stalwick up on lane six, taking control of the situation for his handicap pair. And let's see if we can stay in control and stay clean. And Curtis Bell staying clean on his pair representing exit wounds. Yo, yo Drizzy, you got, yo Drizzy, yo, you getting views, man. Yo, how you feel about all these views you get? I feel fucking great. 36,000 motherfuckers is watching me. Me and Wills was talking, he texted me, he was like, yo, where you want to go? First thing I said, I was like, you know what? Line me up with the young bull. I want to be right next to him and shit because that's the spark of the team. I like to think that I'm the spark of the team, so let me fuck him up today. That's going to be a dumb way to die video. So needless to say, Drees, Drees was uh, picking his meal, and, he, and right now he's eating his food. But you know how it is. Sometimes on National Geographic, whatever you hunt does fight back. Speaking of fighting back, Hanzo looking to fight back on the lanes, and Hanzo blows the rack back. Throwing the ball very well, taking 10 off the rack. Strike, 
106 in the seventh frame with the strike. So basically, essentially 116 plus his next two shots. And I think Mush may want to take a walk back because I think he left something on the lanes. <laughs> Ooh, lane one situation. Burwell chops his, chops his spare, but still finishes with 243. Mush not as much. So on a scratch pair, uh, we have a four pin, four pin deficit. Murder Inc. finishing with 709, and Exit Wounds finishing with 705. Handy, handicapped pairs now need to do their job. Let's see if Chico Bean, Chico Bean himself, Drizzy, Idris Emmons, Drizzy, Drizzy, Drizzy on lane four, feeling really, really good. It looks like Drizzy's gonna get a lot of action this season. Elijah Brown up on lane number five. Oh, and representing murder just fine. Murder in the pins. Drizzy up. Dri Drizzy, Drizzy looking like a 232 finish, considering that he converts his spare. It looks like Murder Inc. may have handicap game number one under wraps. But like I said, it's only game one. It's only the beginning. Drizzy with a 232, 231 finish. Anybody like Key Gang too? Get great. And it seems like the bet windows are open for anybody who do, who likes Keyshawn against Drizzy. Andy, Mr. Late Night. Andy with the two hands. All right, he gets out of his seventh and eighth frame jam. Strikes in the ninth, and he's looking to close out. He struck in the foundation. Now let's see if he can finish like a sensation. Shout out to everybody watching this, and shout out to everybody watch Andy, Andrew. Ooh, I was gonna say strike out. Oh, but oh, merciful pins on a Saturday. But he got blessed like it was a Sunday. Got out of a split situation. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. But every single pin counts. Two or one finish for Andrew Lazarus. Close up on Andy. Late night himself. Potential 226 finish, provided that he strikes. And. For those who don't know who Pat Hollis is, he pioneered this in Woodmere Lanes. He left this many times. I'm guilty of leaving it too. 2 8 10. And 10 back for Day Day, looking for a potential 225 finish, provided that he throws all three of his strikes. Andy with the late night, not playing. Andy with the two hands. Oh, oh, he tried to play a little hero ball. He might have should have got two instead of one. They may have won game one, but it's also about overall wood. And speaking of overall wood, overall Hanzo just knocked all tens back, ten pins back on lane six. Man, I am the black Gordon Pepper. I have, I have jinxed everybody I have spoken about today. But it's okay. <laughs> and look, and looking over here, Darian Lemay. to convert his spare and takes the spare out.
It, look, it looks like Murder, Inc. has game one for their handicap number one pair on lane three and four in hand as well. When I say overall wood, overall wood is all about all three pairs wood combined as well. You want to win your pair, you want to win your pair's wood, and you want to win overall wood as well. So even if you think the game is out, you do not want to throw any shot out because every pin matters in a UBA format. If you go for something, you better make sure you get it or at least get something because no pin, no pins on any situation can hurt you. Darian LeMay up. Very good. So 177 finish for Darian LeMay. Elijah Brown going to town on the pins. And let's see what happens on handicap pair number two. Goes a little high, a little Wiz Khalifa high, high grade, high strand, but 213 is still a great, a good finish. A nice finish against Darian LeMay's 177. So far, it's looking like all three pairs of Murder, Inc. will be taking game one. We have a four-pin deficit, 709 to 705. Murder, Inc. over exit wounds on the scratch pair. Over on the handicap pair number one, we have 679 to 591 kind of a deep hole there and let's see let's see if the hole got dug deeper or gets dug deeper over here on lane lane five and six let's see if we could take a let's see if we could take a look at the finish of game one over here on lane five and six because they are still finishing game one Curtis Bell keeping the house clean. Potential 190, 196 finish, provided that he throws a strike. Nick Stalwick looking to convert his spare. And Nick looking at a 213 finish, cons considering he strikes. And let's see what happens here. The deficit is actually, well, it's. It, it's a it's a spacious difference. It's looking it's looking. <laughs> Appreciate you, Curtis Bell up, and goes a little high five count, so he will not get that one ninety six finish. Uh, it'll actually be one ninety one instead. Nick Stalwick up gets the ball out a little early, tickles the pocket, but the pocket wasn't laughing. And 2-12 finish for Nick Stawick. Both anchors up. We got Campanelli up for Murder, Inc. And we have Hansel up for Exit Wounds. Hansel looking for a 226 finish. And Campanelli looking for a 222 finish. Hansel up on lane five. Hansel up the back of the rock. Oh, and he gets away with a little bit of murder. How ironic. Campanelli staying smooth, knows that the game is in hand. He's just trying to make sure that the lead is a little greater than what it already is. Hansel ho hoping to maybe shorten, shorten the distance between the two. And in all actuality, he has to think about helping to shorten the distance between the nine. Because, like I said, overall, overall, wood does matter. It all matters. Yo, Mush, even though it's raining outside, they say it's fall, but what season is it? Still murder season. Still murder season. Yeah, I saw you had a couple hiccups there. You know, it's a little early right now. I see. I see you got your your Powerade in your hand. Powerade. Uh, <laughs> we back. Uh, it's early. It's raining. 
Um, we actually executed, I guess, really well. You know, I guess. You ever heard that Ja Rule song? I no. think the rain is calling murder. Nah, I never heard that song. Shit, I gotta listen to it. Yeah, exactly. You know, a lot of people didn't hear it. You know, it was a hit. It was a hit to whoever heard it and liked it. That's what you get for laughing at Ja. You see, you almost <laughs> broke your ankle. You know, so we got, how ironic it is that we got, we got someone, a team with the, with the Ja Rule name versus, versus, versus X. So the beef still lives. <laughs> All right, do your thing, Mush. Speaking of doing their thing, Murder, Inc. indeed did their thing in all three pairs. Um, Exit, Exit is going to need to bounce back. They have no problem bouncing back. Like I said, uh, even though Murder, Inc. has won championships, don't sleep on Exit. Exit is one of the toughest teams in the New Jersey Northwest. They're compiled of some of the toughest bowlers you will ever find on any lane in any in anywhere, not only in the tri-state, but in your state and my state and any state across the United States. And we have a uh, hundred a hundred pin deficit over here, six seventy six to five seventy six on handicap pair two. So it's a little bit of a deep a deep hole early, kind of a two hundred pin uh, deep hole. Speaking of deep, Mush over there on lane one hit deep with that shot, and like I said, he had he had his breakfast of champions in his left hand and he was sipping on it, and I think it's starting to kick in. Speaking of kicking in. Key Glock needs to kick into gear. Drees right now is playing chess, and he is all in the headspace of Key Glock. Drees is is 100% proof that it ain't always about what you do on the lanes. You gotta know how to beat your man. You chip away. You chip away at one piece of the rock. Chip, we chip away at one piece of the mountain and the whole mountain may fall. And right now, Drees is being that pickaxe and he's picking away at Key Glock with shot by shot. And I'm not just talking about shots on the lanes, I'm talking about verbal shots as well. Speaking of shots, let's see if Andy can take some shots in the morning time. Late night, hitting in the morning. Seven spare in the first frame, strike in the second. And right now, looking at a 290 pace. Larger cup. Andy. Andy with the two hands. I'm sorry, Andy with the left hand. Saying, I'm going to show up again. And they're, they're starting off similar. In a similar way that they did on their first game. Starting out feeling good. That's, but it's all about the finish. Anyone can start well, but can you finish when you get into the late rounds? And Najee just finished with a great shot right there. Staying up the back of the rock. Like I said, early morning matches are tough. Everyone got to get a little warmed up. It's like winter time. You're trying to start the car up. You better warm it up first. I think Najee's warmed up. Day Day's still looking to get into his rhythm. It's all about rhythm in this game. Day Day looking to convert his 4 7 spare that he left on the left side. Should be able to handle it, no problem. No problem. No split, no problem for Day Day. Shout out to everybody watching here live on Caffeine TV. We hope you're enjoying all this action, all this rowdiness in the morning here in Lodi Lanes in Lodi, New Jersey. New Jersey Northwest, UBA tour stop, exit wounds versus murder Inc. Let's see if X is going to give it to him. Oh, X is going to give it to you right there. Spare, spare, and strike. Looking like a potential 279 finish. Could be a 279 finish. Like I said, Drees kept poking the bear. And let's say if the bear is similar to the one on the Revenant and starts scratching back and starts mauling. Heavy hitters are right now in your view. And let's see if we can view a spare. And almost chops it, but nope. Takes care of a spare, no problem. Trees just has one mission in mind. He wants, he wants to he wants to rip Keyshawn apart. Let's see if let's see if Key fights back. And you know what? The seven pin fought back right there. Standing up for its rights. Civil rights corner pins in effect.
and they're going to continue to fight on lane three and four. But over on lane one and two, let's see what it do. So we got both anchors. We got both anchors. We have front five for both Brandon Burwell as well as Dejon Smith on lane one. Al gains up. Al gains out. And gains gaining a little more confidence with each shot that he throws. Exit up on lane two right now. And Murder Inc. up on lane one. Double A. Taking out the 10 pin. No problem. Probably trying to figure out why he's not getting the, the desired desired amount he wants in his first shot. Could be his ball is hooking and stopping, hooking and stopping early. Maybe not necessarily driving through the pins. Someone who has no problem driving through the pins and getting a lot of good revs on the ball, Alex Vargas. Alex up. Oh, and exit that statement. Leaves a 10 pin right there. And let's see what happens. The day handles this 10 pin. Nope. And Vargas up and takes care of his 10 pin. No problem. Let's take a little look over here. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see what happens over here. We got, so like I said, on lane one and two, we got front five with both anchors. Mush on front five. Burwell is also on front five, and they're on the sixth frame. Let's see if they keep it going on lane one and lane two. Both on 300 max. Mush up. Mush feeling it. Oh, and he's in the mix with six. Let's see if Burwell can match that up. Burwell squaring up. Hit him with a left. Oh, and Burwell season, Burr season. Double A is showing double B how to, I'm sorry, double B showing double A how to carry something. And they both carrying on. So we got, we could be watching two 300s in game two on dueling sides. Right there, up on lane four, you just saw Andrew with the left hand. Uh oh, and I, th I think he found something. It looks like Double A found something on lane one. I know he's been fighting with, his, with, with the pins, trying to carry all of them on the first shot. He's, he's been keeping the house clean. He's been staying clean, but he, wa he wants to get more X's than, that, than, than, than slashes. Al gains up. Oh, Al gains right now, like I said, gaining more confidence with each shot. Day Day gained himself a strike right there. Alex Vargas up on lane two. He's striking. Oh, well, everyone got their car started. Everyone got their cars warmed up now. And now we got Mush up on lane number two. You know what? Let's not discount JR. JR looking like a star himself. JR looking at 290. JR also on exit looking at 290. They trying to make up for any kind of deficit that may be on any other pair. Oh, Mush didn't like it. And that is why he didn't like it. He rolled up and a couple purple hairs in that shot. Really, really high. Oh, but you know what's high? Keyshawn's hopes. Keyshawn with high hopes. And right now, he's giving it right back to Drees. Like, what you said before? Yeah, I'm on your block. Oh! Burwell was trying to stay with Mush, but instead, 
but the pins mercifully allowed him to pass him by. So now Mush went from 300 max to 279 max. Burwell still on, still on that, still on that path to greatness. Still on that yellow brick road, and how ironic, got yellow on the jersey. You could either view it as yellow or view it as gold. We're gonna show a little love to handicap pair number two on lane five and six. Nick Stalwick, ooh, does not take the ten pin out. Darian LeMay up on lane five, looking to convert, and ooh. Cartwheel drop kick, taking out the ten pin, no problem. Uh, we got some gymnastics action in the bowling lanes. Oh, and everybody out here flipping something. And let's see if Nick Stowick on lane six can flip that nine pin, I'm sorry, that nine count into a nine spare but no spare on lane five. Curtis Bell drives everything back. Nick, no problem on his 10 pin. So what you're seeing now, as, oh, we got a bucket. So what you're seeing now is not only exit wounds trying to fight back, but they're also not only trying to cut the deficit down, but they're trying to potentially take the overall wood back. They're down about 200 pins right now. Campanelli with a very nice shot on lane six. And Hansel trying to see if he can keep his rhythm going up on lane five. And no problem for Hansel. Moving back over here to lane three and four. Let's see if Najee can convert, convert the 3 6 10. No problem. No chop on his spare. High drama here in Lodi, New Jersey Northwest. And right now we got Burwell up on his eighth frame. Still on a 300 pace. Burwell up. And even though. Even though he didn't keep it going, he got away with a major malfunction. Vargas still trying to keep the rhythm going. The story right now, other than other than an exit with a with a major comeback situation, is <laughs> the on lane battle between Keyshawn and Drees. You would have thought you would have thought you were watching an NBA game, but you're watching a whole lot of ISO. 
But you know what? Mush says, show me your tough. Say it with your chest, little, little bowler. <laughs> Mush says, say it with your chest. Oh, that's a little hot. Oh. <laughs> that's why he got the Glock on the back of his jersey. And it's looking like he got the Glock not only on his waist, but he's aiming it right now. He said it ain't about throwing haymakers, it's about boxing. He took the jabs, now he's throwing haymakers. And he is, right now, right now, he's he's setting the pace. And right now, he's running laps around Drees. And it's getting cold. It's getting cold. Drizzy season, well, it's not even winter yet, but it's getting cold, the temperature's dropping. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew saying, you know what? We here, we here. Exit. <laughs> they, were, they were looking like they were taking punches in the first game. Like I said, it's all about overall wood. And it's not a, it's a, it's a marathon. It is not a sprint. The lights are on. All pairs are waking up. We got Curtis Bell throwing strikes. We got Day Day throwing strikes. We got Keyshawn throwing strikes. We got Burwell throwing strikes. We got JR. We got we got everybody. Everybody from Exit right now showing you what, that, what it is about that. When they say Exit gonna give it to you, it's not just a song. This is what they do out here. Nick Stalwick's try, trying to fight back. Campanelli's trying to fight back now. You couldn't even make the last pair. You couldn't even make the last pair. You couldn't even make the last pair. Oh. Well, 219 finish for Al Gaines. Potential 252 finish for JR, who was up on lane number two. Anthony Arias looking for a 206 finish. Try well, it registered seven, but that is indeed a six count. It looked like six and a possible. 202 finish. 202 finish for Anthony Arias. JR up and a seven pin. Standing up for its rights. On the left. It looked like before Exit was taking punches, but listen, sometimes you gotta take a couple jabs to throw a couple hooks. And right now they're throwing right and left hooks. Literally and figuratively. Alex Vargas, no problem finishing. Let's see if he can finish in the 10th. Oh! And a, and a patriotic shot as he American flags that one. Now, even though they have this game in hand, they did not want to, they definitely did not want to miss anything. When you're down by a certain amount, you don't want to miss anything. You don't want to leave any food on the table. If you can't finish your food, you better pack it up and eat it on the road. Like I said, overall, Murder, Inc. was up by about 200 pins. So they were not trying to leave anything on the table. 220 is still very good. 219, 220. Burwell looking at a 279 finish. Mush looking as, as well at a 279 finish. And Burwell, Burwell throwing the rack back. Brandon Burwell on pace for 279. Mush saying, I'm staying right here with you. You ain't going nowhere. He said, you are not going anywhere.
All eyes on lane one and two. Lane one and two, we got two potential two. We have dueling 279s on lane one and two. And you know what Burwell saying? It's still burr season. How apropos. It's cold in here. It's cold outside. And you know what? His game is cold, too. And Moose says he's still here, too. He says, you ain't, you ain't all alone on the island. I can shoot 279, too. He said, whatever you can do, I can do better. And do it with two hands. We got a left-handed bandit versus a two-handed slammer. Murder, Murder Inc. did a great job of getting a lead game one. Exit Wounds doing a great job fighting back game two. And 272, 279 finish for Brandon Burwell. BB showing that those two Bs are killer, killer Bs. And 279 a piece. For 279 for Dejon Mushsmith and 279 for Brandon Burwell. And a and one pin victory, one pin, 718 to 717 in game two. So the wood extremely close over there. Murder Inc. still has the wood by, by three pins to be exact. 1426 overall on that pair to 1423. Over here on lane three and four, the situation is this. Murder Inc. is now being the punching bag and it looks like exit wound. Well, they're the ones throwing the punches. Day Day converts his 4-7. Spare, no problem. Keyshawn woke up. Everyone else understood the assignment, and they're trying to support they, they man up top. You said nothing over Let's see if Andrew with the left hand can do his thing. Andrew Lazarczyk. Oh. That's <laughs> it, exactly. Andrew blowing the rack back. He's smiling, he's smiling a little more each shot. That was certainly a fight in game two. The two scratch pairs or having head-on collisions, and nobody is blinking. No one is concussed. Matter of fact, they are just focused. They are focused and not concussed. Andy, late night. Ooh, looking like high noon, how high he went up there. And Day Day, finishing flush in the pocket. Exit said, we ain't never scared. Hey, uh, exact, wait, say that again. So it was, so it was, eight, so it was 88 pins. So over here we had a hundred pin deficit. Over here we had 88, and before over there we had about four. So you cut one off of here. How many do you think you're gonna cut off of here? All 88. What about over here? I get half it back. Now. We get half it back. Hey, you know what it's like when you go to casino. Sometimes you just want to break even. Okay. So you're trying to leave with something. 
don't got to take it all at once. It's two games left. You don't have to get it on the first date. That's right. It's a race to 21. So for, for those who don't get that reference, it's a 40-point system. It's not. It's only. It's about getting your pairs, your pairs game, your pairs wood, and overall wood as well. And Nig and Nige, Nige taking everything out. Like I said, for those who know math, mathematically, half of 40 is 20. Those who get 21, you tip the scale in your favor. It is a race to 21. That's what it's all about. Drizzle. Oh, and after this, and after this second game, it looked like Drizzy may be back on the carpet. I don't know. And. and and, and JR is, is looking over to the field, to the field analyst saying that we may need a sub. What? <laughs> Whoa, JR. Not, not the sub. They need the sub. That guy got to come out. He got to come out. He single-handedly killed him. <laughs> All by himself. By himself. He single-handedly taking him out. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, it's not like he said they're the best team in the organization. No, no. Oh! And, and you know what? It's you know it's all about taking back. And you know what? For those who've ever been in a fight and you get jumped, but then when you come back to the same block and you jump that same person, Keyshawn just came back to the block and said, "Yo, run that back." I'm gonna, I'm, he said, "I'm gonna need round two. And right now, game two, Drees is through. Oh, and you gotta stop flagging those. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you're a patriot or not. You don't have. You don't have to pay homage to the flag. You do not have to flag and leave food on the table. You have to stay focused on what you're doing. Shout out to everybody watching this. And oh, Andy with the two hands, making it lay down like it's on the late night. Lane, th lane three and four. Wasn't giving it up like it was in game one. Exit wound showing good fight. There's always game three. Andrew, Lazarchik up. Ooh. And Andrew is not playing. Andrew is doing his thing. Two, potential 259 finish. And Mush right now taking a little walk to see see how everything look on lane three and four. Mush trying to mark his territory. Late night leave, leaving the two pin. Potential, uh, 221 finish provided that he makes a spare. He should be all over the spare, no problem. Talking to one of the, the individuals on exit, it looks like they made up that 88. Referencing the 88 pin deficit that was created in game one, and exit definitely making up for that on lane three and four here in game two against, against their handicap matchup. For those wondering about what's happening on handicap pair number two. Handicap pair number two. Murder, Murder Inc. is still still ahead over here, but not by a lot. It's a lot closer than it was in game one. So they're keeping it close. And even if you can't take it, try to keep it as close as you can so the other pairs can do what they do. Right now, middle pair right now is, being, is throwing on a cape. They are the heroes right now. And that is a 258 finish for Andrew Lazarczyk. Andy with the left hand. Let's see if Najee right now can, can stop this run. We got it back on that pair. And ooh, get up, stand up. Stand up for your rights. Civil rights corner pins over here. 10 pins standing up. 
putting his hands up, playing defense. And Dede up. Dede showing how to take the 10-pin out. Statistics say the best way to make a 10-pin is don't leave it. And if that's the case, then Dede just converted his 10-pin beautifully. Moose saying that the cosmetics will not be will not be there on lane one. He's saying it's not going to be aesthetically pleasing. Matter of fact, he's saying it's going to be rather ugly. And that ball released early inside the oil skids does not drive through the way he would like to, leaving his 10 pin. Losing by 88 was exit wounds in the first game of lane three and four. And they, def they definitely made that up by winning this game by, a, by 100 or so. Najee with a 2.15 finish. Dede will take care of his 10 pin, no problem. 7.13 finish for Dede. Six, I'm sorry, 2.34 finish for Dede. 7.13 finish for handicap pair number two for exit wounds. 6.20 handicap finish for Murder Inc. So that right there is a 93 point win to make up for the 88 pin loss in game one. Uh oh. Mush said he got bills and he's trying to pay them with each shot. Only pair that's still in game game two is hand, is handicap pair number two. Curtis Bell is up on there, and Curtis Bell is ball finishing up a little high, so it leaves a six count. Three six nine ten. Nick Style wick up, and leaves, oh almost leaves exactly the same thing. What I'm noticing is a lot of the players that like to go up the boards are catching the outside early, and if they're bowling with surface, they're driving up high early. Dull surfaces usually get a very early roll, and sometimes when you try to make up for that early roll by moving right, you get an early read. Some bowlers say it's better to go with something controllable, shinier or smoother surface, or like I say, it gives you permission to hit. So that way you can drive through and, oh, and Nick. Nick leaving his food on the, on the, on the table right there. And it looks like exit, exit may cut down some of the deficit here. We'll see. Hopefully handicap, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully handicap pair too will also do their thing representing exit wounds. And we have a match here. Wait a minute. Speaking of murder scene, for those of you who can see lane one, well, you can't see lane one. Right now, you just saw Dede blowing the rack back. Murder right now throwing the ball. But like a dangerous animal being backed in a corner. And when you back someone up in the corner, they can either cower in the corner or they can start fighting wildly and start scratching back and fighting back. We knew this match was going to be like this. What are they here for? They're here to give you more. And if you want more, you're going to get more right here. You are watching Murder, Inc. versus Exit Wounds. New Jersey Northwest Division, UBA Tour Stop. This is the season. Is it the season where the wounds will exit, or is it murder season? It may be early, but sometimes you gotta wake up early if you wanna put that work in. Both teams putting in that work. Laying three and, laying three and four. Drizzy trying to see if he can get the stock back up. And you know what? He said that was only one game. He said, I'm back. I was going for a minute, but I'm back with a jump off. And, oh, and Mush jumping off onto lane three saying, hey, look at me now too. 
reminiscing of Mortal Kombat with a little whoopsie, getting right in the camera. And Keyshawn makes his 10 pin. And he kick, and he, and he kick, hey, he, <laughs> he kicks off and makes his 10 pin with his, with his soccer spare ball. Andrew Lazarczyk up on lane three, and Andy with the two hands up on lane four. Woo-wee! All right, Murder Inc. is not playing. And, and Andrew leaving the six pin. Najee up on lane four. Let's see what Najee can do. Let's see if we can keep it going. All three of his partners just doubled. Let's see if he can keep up the rhythm. Najee releases. He likes it. And for those who've never seen Najee throw, once he gets that hand motion going after his shot, it's pretty much a wrap. I call him walking tall. <laughs> Murder Inc. looking to walk tall and looking to walk out this game three. They want to lock up not only the game, but they definitely want to lock up the wood. Over on lane five and six, Nick Stalwick looking at a 194 finish, provided that he throws all three strikes in his 10th frame. Curtis Bell looking at a 210 finish, provided that he throws all three of his strikes in the 10th frame. Curtis Bell up on lane six. Releases it. As you hear Tiffany Smalls yelling out, please. And you know, sometimes you have to ask for what you want. She wanted the strikes, she got it. Very close on handicap pair. Handicap pair number two. As of now, the, the large deficit is currently cut down to half of what it was before. It was cut down from 200 to 100. And let's see if Key can keep it 100. And he keeps it 100 with all 10 pins back up on lane four. Mush back again on front five. Let's see if Chico could be on front. No, nope, not front, but face. <laughs> And head on a Saturday morning, head pinned to be exact, right through the face. And Keyshawn, not only with the Glock, but with the microphone as he engages in a little karaoke, serenading Chico Bean, and he's wilding out on Chico Bean. How poetic is that? Let's even get some poetry in motion on this on a split conversion. Oh. And plays hero ball and only gets one to fall. Andrew Lazarczyk up. Andrew Lazarczyk, ooh, stone eight. Normally, a stoner can appreciate that, but a bowler will not be appreciating that when you want everything to fall on the first shot. Over on lane one and two, double A had a little hiccup, a little indigestion on his on his fifth frame with a split and which which um, resulted in an 8-1. But other than that, all strikes. And Al Gaines is up, he converts his spare, but the real game is Werner Inc. definitely gaining an advantage. Alex Vargas taking out everything on his shot as well. Alex Vargas on lane two. Very smooth release. And all that noise was for Hansel striking and tripping out everything on his shot. It's a fight on all three pairs. Ooh, and San Francisco 49ers, a 4-9, four 4-9 nine. Four nine for Daquan J.D. Green.
for those listening and hearing Mush's voice, Mush is on front six. Again. <laughs> Again. It's not a replay. Burwell finding everything he needs, and now he's striking. But let's see if Drees can find a strike to make up, well, for that major burp in frame three. Now let's see if lane four. Oh! Fast eight. Fast eight for Drizzy. Key up. Oh! Take a little stoner eight. Definitely doing their thing. Ex exit wounds definitely got that. All right, for those, um, Wondering, yes, the handicap pair did win. I'm um, handicap pair two won game two by 40 pins. So it was 93 pins on lane three and four. It was by one pin on lane one and two, and by 40 pins over here on lane five and six. So they did cut that deficit down. So now it really is coming down to the fourth quarter, to the last game, and each frame matters. And right now. The situation. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, what was that? I don't even know what Vargas left. I got distracted. <laughs> but what, the story is this. It's very close. It is anybody's game. It is a race to 21. It's a 40-point system. You got to win pair by pair. Pair by pair games. Pair by pair wood. Overall wood for all three pairs for all nine bowlers. Lane one and two. Burwell made a slight change. A slight change, and right now he's trying to catch Mush, who right now is hitting the ground running. And he's running fast. He's running really, really fast, and he's not even looking back. And let's see if he's going to keep the murder scene going. And whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. I'm not a crook, but we just see Richard Nixon right there on lane one with the two peace signs up. And he almost gets a little greedy. He still gets the two, but he almost gets a little side piece with that too. And that just took a turn. Going from 300 max, well, to definitely not 300 max now. More like 262 max. It's amazing what you can lose all in one shot. Like I say, sometimes all you need is one or two frames to change the game. And woo Key Glock walking it out. Doing his Glock dance. Yo, 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 Key. You, yo, you, 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 you that's your Glock dance right there? One game, one game does not does not break a man. And you know what, Dr Drizzy to his credit wasn't broken on that on that split lead. He left a couple loose teeth up there and knocked the rest of them out. So so excited to see what what Keyshawn gonna do in the heavyweight division. Imagine him defending his heavyweight title. 
anyone who defends, who, who is trying to take a belt from him, once he gets it, well, let's just say you better do your stretches. And you better do your push-ups. You better eat your Wheaties. Have a complete breakfast or complete meal before you deal with that. Oh, wait a minute. They definitely must be friends off the lanes. They just keep giving and giving. It's not even the Christmas season, but it seems like Mush as well as, as Day Day, I'm sorry, Mush as well as Burwell just keep giving each, giving each other opportunities. Speaking of opportunities, oh, he was not opportunistic with that shot. Had an opportunity, did Curtis Bell on lane five to take the 10 pin out. Let's see if Curtis Bell can convert his 10 pin. One thing Curtis has been doing very well has been closing frames. He has not been striking out the building, but at the same time, he's been making key shots. And he's been closing frames, and that's what it's all about. Yo. It looks like exit cut down this, this, this deficit. Are you worried? Are you scared? I know Tiffany not scared. No. Yo, and it's crazy because I'm trying to think, you know, one day we're going to pass it off to our little cousins. Uh -huh. But, you know what I'm saying? But right now, it's emergency. Well, there you have it, right there. Both representatives of Jersey Lanes in New Jersey. It's all family, it's all love with Exit and Murder, and Murder Inc. And, you know what? Key Glock, he liked the shot a lot, popped the shot, now he has to spin the block. And he has to take take out a witness, that witness being the temper. <laughs> well, I just want to say hi to my mom and I love you and I know you're not watching because you don't know how to use Facebook. Well, shout out to or, Top Gun. Uh, Caffeine TV. TV, is that right? You know what, probably, because to start your day, you need some what? Caffeine, baby. All day. <laughs> Shout out to Top Guns here, another team in the New Jersey Northwest. They're watching Caffeine TV. Hopefully, you are too. Speaking of caffeine, it looks like, well, whatever caffeine Dries had has definitely run out. He probably should have had that Cafe Bustelo. Dark. No sugar. No milk. And bitter. And, like I said, he has to take the bitter pill as he chops off the bucket. And let's see, speaking of getting everything out the mud, let's see if he can avoid and get out the mud from that last shot that he shot in the seventh frame. His eighth and ninth frame from Mush on lane one strikes. Aspiring for that 262 finish, which he would have liked to be a 300 finish. Lane three. Andrew Lazarczyk right there. Looking like he's creating some kind of design because I see strikes, I see spares, and I see dashes. Burwell off balance. Still takes the challenge just fine. Story over here on lane four. Andy with the two hands. Late night. Potentially front six. And nope, I didn't jinx that one. Andy with the two hands, late night himself. Front six. And right now it looks like they're trying to put um, trying to put exit wounds to bed. Exit wounds right now, maybe making the exit today, but showing up to fight another day. And if they do lose today, I feel bad for whoever they got to bowl. Because they're going to have to get that residual work. But one, but one game does not a season make. No matter what happens to you, whether you win, you can't have what we call the, 
a letdown game. You cannot have a letdown syndrome. You can't have a big victory and then just rest on your laurels. And you cannot lose and think you're defeated for a season. You got to bounce back. And that ball definitely bounced back on lane two for a double A. Double A being the enforcer that I that I claim for him to be. Bouncing back from every single thing that he was challenged with before for what, what could be a potential 236 finish. The deficit that was cut down, well, it will not be attained at this pace from exit wounds. Shout out to all nine bowlers who came here to give you all this action. Six count, and that is a 240, I'm sorry, 242. He had a 246 potential. And speaking of potential, like potentially Drees may have seen his last, his last season match, depending on what they say after watching this match. But like he said before, he's effective on the carpet too. Keyshawn converts his spare. Over on your other screen, lane two, Alex Vargas up. And cannot take the 10 pin out. Potential 220 fin 210 finish, rather, considering he can convert his 10 pin. And considering that he throws a strike at his last ball. JR up on lane one. JR bangs out. Looking for Potential 235 finish for JR. 10 pin converted for Alex Vargas on lane two. Angela Zarjic up on lane four. Ooh, throwing a cartwheel and takes out the eight pin that was trying to stone him. Andy with the late night and oh, legs open on a Saturday morning. Yeah. <laughs> and JR finishes out. Beautiful finish. 245 on lane one. Let's see if Dede can pick it back up. And I don't know if Dede can get the rhythm. It looks like he, he's not really comfortable today. Vargas with another nice shot. 209 finish for Alex Vargas. 240 finish. 242 finish for. Anthony Arias and potential 262 finish for for Mush. Did he converting his 3610 spare? Handicap pair um, number two. They they're running a little bit behind everybody else. And scratch pair because they strike a lot. They're running ahead of everybody else. Go figure. Lane three and four, Najee. Ooh, that ball went up very, very high. It took a little early turn. GPS rerouted on that shot and leaves the 9-10. Mush up. And does not kick out the 10 pin. That was a potential 262 finish. Now a potential 241 finish, provided that he makes his 10 pin and and makes it, and strikes on his last shot. Nige on lane three does not take out his spare. Drees over here pleading his case. And it seems that murder was the case. Murder is definitely the case right now for exit on this Saturday, September 23rd, 2023. Lodi Lanes, Lodi, New Jersey, New Jersey Northwest season tour stop. Oh, 
take a walk, take a walk on the Jersey side. But being that I'm in Jersey, I'm gonna be respectful on the Brooklyn side. But we know what it's really called. It's called a strike. It's called a strike. That's what <laughs> well, seeing that Keyshawn got, well, he's eating his food, but Exit's belly got full. It seems that Exit's belly, belly got full in the second game, but Keyshawn's continuing to eat. And let's see if he eats his way up to the top, especially in the heavyweight division, and looks to potentially bring Exit Wound a title, a heavyweight title at that. Curtis Bell, for those who didn't see, just stole, just really stole one on lane five and lane on lane six, rather. Final score for for Murder Inc. 240 finish for Mush, 242 finish for Anthony. Ed oh, we got a gutter. You suck. Unfortunately, we got a gutter ball thrown. Six ninety one in game three for Murder Inc. Six fifty three. Six fifty three for Exit Wounds. Overall Wood um twenty one seventeen for Murder Inc. and twenty seventy six for Exit Wounds. And great spare conversion for Nick Stalwick on his second shot, ticking all ten pins back. So lane one is already finished. So for those who are watching, we will be giving you the remainder of handicap pair one and handicap pair two. Both, shout out to both scratch pairs, giving you a great show. Let's see if the show will continue and go on. And speaking of going on, over on lane, oh, on lane five and six, we have Elijah Brown, who is on front, oh, front five. Let's stay with him and let's see what happens over there. Elijah Brown representing handicap pair, handicap pair number two for Murder Inc. Murder Inc. Murder Inc. definitely showing why they are former champions. They throw the rock and they let their ball do the talking. But sometimes when we talk, instead of throwing the ball, we see what happens. And, oh, well, still 279 finish for Elijah Brown, potentially. Keyshawn throwing the ball up. Oh, and he's still walking it out. And, he's let, and he is definitely letting Dries know that I am not finished with you yet. Dries with a potential 171 finish. Keyshawn with a potential 229 finish. Darian LeMay over there on lane five and lane six. Definitely getting a strike. He's definitely trying to make sure he keeps everything moving. Let's see if Andrew Lazarchi can keep things moving. And ooh, are we looking at a classic walk down? It could be a walk down on lane three and four. Handy with the late night, not having the same look he did before in the first half of the third game. Speaking of not having a look, well, Andrew did not have a look. I'm sorry, not Andrew. Nick Stalwick did not have a look. It seems that Day Day doesn't have a look today either. Day Day definitely not get, having a good look this game. And they definitely need him to help with what Keyshawn and Andrew Lazarchuk are definitely trying to build. Trying to build a walk down, but I need him to complete the puzzle. And Dede can 
versus Spear. So we're on lane five and six. Is that what? Is, is that? Well, if we can get a shot. Of, a lot of unfortunate events. A series of unfortunate events happening on lane five and six. Najee up. And ooh, not necessarily a good look. <laughs> Daddy obviously does not like three and four, and three and four doesn't like him either. And Hansel, Hansel trying to see if he can maybe put a little a little pedal to the metal. Exit is fighting for a potential 21 point victory because it is that close. Yeah. Darian, Darian LeMay up on lane six. Oh, Darian LeMay, beautiful shot. And, oh, and we got a trip out right there. We got a nice trip out by Keyshawn. Keyshawn looking to finish. Yeah. Oh, and Chico shows up. Chico Bean showing up in, in the late night hour. Elijah Brown up. Elijah going a little high. We are in the 10th frame of game three. Keyshawn looking to finish strong. That is not, that is not going. Well, he, he took a little trip outside and it was cold. But you know what? It was still warmer than whatever Drees just left. So seven count for Drees. Potential 161 finish for Drees. 217 potential finish for Keyshawn. Mr. Glock. They call him Mr. Glock. Keyshawn with a 217 finish right there. Story is this. Even though the score says 551 for exit wounds, they are up because Andrew was on four in a row. Andrew was up. Oh! Little high-low action. Close line up top. Leg sweep on the bottom. Takes out the six pin that tried to stand up for its rights, but it got knocked right and it got knocked left. And just like that, and just like that, Exit just took the lead on the handicap pair, handicap pair number one. And Andy lost that look. I don't know what transition happened where Andy lost the same look he had in the beginning of, of this game. It looked like he was sitting pretty, and I guess the makeup wore off because, the, you know, the cosmetics are not the same right now, and the aesthetics definitely aren't the same. And Andrew right now coming in. So it looks like Andy started the game off hot, but Andrew's finishing off the game hot. So they did a trade-off. And the finish is way more important than the start because it's not about how you start. It's all about how you complete. Potential 231 finish for Andy, provided that he throws a strike in this next shot. Andrew with a major comeback, not only for himself, but for his team as well. And there you have it. That was a major comeback. I don't know what transition happened for Andy for late night. Something must have changed. 237 finish for Andrew Lazarczyk. Andy with the left hand versus Andy with the two hand. And, and nope, nothing, nothing. And nothing was the same in my Drizzy voice. Two, 228 finish for Andy with the late night. And just like that,
it looks like <laughs> Exit may have a, a little turnaround here. And like I said, Dede never really could get out the blocks. Dede was not, Dede was not feeling good all this game. His team was holding him up this game. The one interesting thing you're seeing about this match, everybody's getting their own experience on the lane. And as you hear in the background, Mush saying we have a shot. So this spare is important. And he does not get the spare. Six, 626 finish. They had a chance to cut it down by a lot more. So, Murder Inc. will still lose even if he strikes out, but they'll only lose by one. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So what? Someone, what? Someone, someone, someone threw with a thumb hole. What else? Someone took their shirt off on the approach. I make sure the averages are right. You know. Hashtag everything is, hashtag everything is okay. <laughs> yeah, so the most I could do is only lose by one. Yeah, so pretty much y'all, so y'all protect the overall wood. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the overall wood. Depending on, if they was able to get out the blocks, y'all had a chance to lose over it. Yo, Drees, you was talking about, now you was talking about the transition. Now, I noticed the interesting about. I just pull it back. I don't make a shoot. No, I ain't. A good motherfucker is making a shoot when they pull it back. Very true. I make a shoot. I pull it back. Yeah. But I'm still going to talk shit. Yeah. And the one thing that we noticed, you can, shed, shed, you can shed a little light on this. Every pair had their own experience. Like, it, nobody was just running around closing their eyes throwing strikes. Everybody experienced something different. The three and four is just a funny pair, you know what I mean? Like, it ain't nothing bowling-wise, you know what I mean? Like, G's a fucking 230, 240 bowler. Late night is good. Late night, he has a slow roll, and he's in the middle of the lane, so he's able to, you know, get through it. Me, I threw it back, the back two games. The first game was in my wheelhouse, but it didn't work out like that. I particularly like three and four. This is why I, wear my, I won my first Cruiserweight title on this pair. Oh, yeah? oh, okay. No, absolutely. It's a great pair, but not for me. I feel you. The transition for me has always been funky on that pair, too. So, long story short, still murder season? Yeah, long story short, still murder season. I'm going to go collect this $500 because they thought Exit Wounds was going to win. So, I'm going to go collect that, too. There you go. Look forward. I'm going to have some drinks on Exit Wounds. All right, I like Jack, I, I like Jack and Coke. And, well, I appreciate you, Oscar. All right, but speaking of Jack, let's see if um, we can um, either Jack up the lead or maybe if we can rock out a walk, a comeback, or a walk down. So exit wounds still currently down. Shout out to the second handicap pair who definitely had a shot to help cut down the lead a little more. Exit wounds having their own personal struggles here. Now, Exit Wounds is actually on lane five and six in the same situation that they were in on lane three and four. They have somebody that's on a couple of workers, meaning a couple of strikes in a row. Very good. And they are definitely focused on hopefully walking everything down. And Campanelli can't seem to get out the blocks. Campanelli definitely trying his best. 
Campanelli giving it his all. Hansel, if he can get this double, it'll definitely assist the four strikes on the row that Elijah Brown has up top. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry, it won't, it won't assist it. It'll actually hurt. It'll assist the four in a row. Then his double assisted the four in a row that Darian LeMay currently has. Darian LeMay on lane five. Got four strikes in a row going into the 10th frame. Hansel with a double going into the 10th frame. And that looks like five right there. Five strikes in a row for Mr. LeMay. Elijah up. He's on a double going into the tent. Mush says hurry up, and the ball hurries up indeed. Hey, Diddy, it looked like today you really couldn't get out the blocks. Look, you really wasn't comfortable. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you what it was. What today was, the first game, I didn't want to run to do too much because nobody on the pin was really striking. I was making my spares. I was like, let me just stay clean. The second game, I kind of figured something out where it would work a little bit, but I had to be perfect. And then the last game, it was like everything was swirly, bro. So it was like... You gotta take it. You gotta take the good with the bad. You ain't always gonna, you know, be the greatest ever. But it's cool. I mean, one day, one exit doesn't make for a season exit. We're gonna be in the same place we was at last year. NJ Northwest Garden Foundation Murder and Exit. It's gonna be the same. Thing. We just had to bowl them first. Now we gotta bowl everybody else. You said it. And you bet it. Yeah. I'm not saying that Machiavelli shit. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'm not saying that Machiavelli shit. It's not happening. <laughs> I don't want to say that, ever. Ever. He, he messed the whole thing up. I'm not saying that. But I am saying that we will be in the three. That's like the new wearing white after Labor Day, John. That man, man. That video set a trend. Nobody don't want to say that. You know who's setting the trend right now? Your boy Darian LeMay as he bangs out for 223. And like I said, the, the same situation as three and four, where they had an opportunity to really um, make a wave. Now, they definitely, you guys definitely won. You won the game by one pin over there. Yeah. Oh, yes. I got the wood on that pin. No, well, well, they got, they got the, yeah. And that was big. And this is a situation where every pin counts. Uh, great game for Elijah Brown of Murder, Inc. 254. 223 for Darren LeMay, who really, who really showed up um, from the second half. He definitely showed up the second half of game three. And right now up is Curtis Bell on lane number five. Andy Catpair number two here, low down. That ball looks good. Oh, but it. And, and, Nick, and Nick Starwood, he finds something right on time. And doesn't, and doesn't necessarily, but doesn't necessarily get anything on that shot. That depth is gonna hurt, 191 finish. to say that, def that definitely had to hurt. Good shooting the line. Nick Stahl was throwing his second shot in 10th frame. 10 back. Potential 181 finish. Then we got Hansel up on lane, on lane number five. Anything can happen. We've seen stranger things happen. He's gonna still try to make them work for it. The 
chances now the chances of them winning this game slim to none. But then again, sometimes Slim can get a little chubby real quick. Nick blows the rack back. Nine pins still stands up. 180 finish for Nick Stowe. 254, 254 finish for Elijah Brown. Nick with a 180. Currently 647 with the handicap. Or handicap pair number two for Murder Inc. Hansel trying to throw it, throw all his strikes in the tenth frame. Two more shots left. Let's see what these shots get. Hansel from the left side throws it back. One more strike will give them 664. And that first shot locked it out for Murder, Inc. Murder, Inc. locks out this game, and they definitely guarantee victory. Hey. Oh, Bush. Murder, Caesar. Uh, Caesar. Yeah, I know the, so what's the, what's, what's the um, point count? I think it's going to be 28-12. 28-12 murder, right? Yeah. All right. All right, so out of the 40 point, uh, out of the 40 point system, Murder Inc. will be taking. Uh, it looks like they will be, unofficially, and still confirmed, taking, taking 28 points to 12. We'll, we'll officially give them Tiffany. Tiff. No, I need to know what the, what, what's, the, what's the split. All right. Thank you. Here, here, stay with your cousin for a little bit. Stay with your cousin for a little bit. All right. All right. So right now, 28-12. Yeah. All right. So it looks like it's definitely going to be 28-12. Exit to Murder, Inc. Shout out to both teams who definitely came out, showed out, gave y'all a good show here on Caffeine TV. Uh, exit wounds looking to still push because this is only the beginning of the season. Murder, Murder Inc. says it's still murder season. Exit wounds says they're still ready. Let's see if exit wounds can do their thing. Appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate that. So now, we're going we gonna... to. For all those who had a chance to watch here on Caffeine TV, Murder Inc. victorious over Exit Wounds. We almost had a couple of um, potential 300s. Ain't no telling what else we can see. And for those tuning in, we're going to be seeing heavyweight action later on. As you see, Dansbury against Hatch for the Northeastern Heavyweight Championship. This is Sean Knight facing the Voice of Choice closing out. Thank you once again, and it's UBA all day.